Hey everyone, I'm Carson Schilling, and for my 30-day self-improvement project, I will be learning how to rap, the art and science of the hip-hop MC. I'm a huge fan of poetry, and I've been listening to a lot of rap lately, just because rapping definitely is a form of poetry and art, and I'd really like to indulge myself in some of these skills and talents involved in successful rapping, even though I'm obviously a middle-class white guy. So, let's see how this goes. Everything is a-okay. Yep. Cause I'm strong as an OAK And oh, my money don't grow Now during my prep week I had to order myself a couple different things to prepare myself for this project So I bought a decent microphone A mic stand for recording on my desk or in the office And the book which is going to teach me the skills and information I need for how to rap Now the book's broken down into four different topics Content, flow, writing, and delivery I'll be focusing on one of these topics each week for the four weeks of self-improvement So it's day one, week one of how to rap, and I read about in the book how many rappers get ideas for their songs from simply what happens in their day. So I'll be starting off <laughs> with learning how to rap by writing about my Monday at school. Monday I woke up, didn't wanna go to school. I put on my clothes thinking, man, this is kinda cruel. 7.30 used too early to function I'm suffering from a massive brain corruption I went through my day suffering through every class I felt like time had stopped like a broken hourglass When I got home, I take a nap, refill my zen But I gotta wake up tomorrow just to do it all again It's Tuesday, the day after I recorded my rap And that sucked um well with practice comes perfect i guess so i'm gonna probably go back and make some edits to it and use some more of the techniques that i learned from the book to edit my verse and hope that it becomes not as choppy and unconfident on page 24 of the book the author talks about knowing how to use different content forms can also add variation to your music and make you a much more versatile MC. By approaching the same topics from different angles with lyrics that range from simple to complex, you increase your ability to connect with many different types of listeners. So the book suggested obviously listening to many different songs and figuring out what kind of style suits you best. I listened to many different styles of rap ranging from the Sugar Hill Gang to a tribe called Quest. Can I kick it to all the people who can quest like a tribe does? Before this, did you really know what I was? To Eminem. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready. In the first chapter, some other techniques discussed were things like humor and figurative language that you can add into your rap. So I found some really good examples online of some figurative language and some different examples and I looked up a bunch of different songs online and I just explored the world of rhyme schemes and wordplay and humor and storylines that people can put into rap nowadays. It is now week two and this week's topic is flow. Uh, so the book talked about different types of flow that many rappers can use, which is really fast flow or really slow flow, but it just really depends on what you're rapping about and what kind of style you're used to having. On page 76 of the book it says, the majority of MCs learn how to flow by listening to other artists' records, picking up techniques, and combining them to create their own style. The flow diagram is a tool that helps with this method of learning by providing a visual guide to the techniques. The flow diagram diagrams the beats of the song and the syllables for where the words come in. So for my verse the other day about my day at school on Monday, I will be writing them all on a flow diagram to try to let it flow better. Monday I woke up, didn't want to go to school. I put on my clothes thinking this is kind of cruel. 7.30 used too early to function I'm suffering from a brain mouth function I went through my day, took a nap in every class I swear time had stopped like a broken hourglass 
I go home to refill my zen But I gotta wake up tomorrow, do it all again Okay, I liked that one a lot more than my original one just because I think it sounded a lot better So I think what I'm gonna do is over the course of these next three weeks I'm gonna keep that same verse and add more onto it and just make it better and better with all the techniques and stuff That I've learned from this book. So that'll be my goal So it's Wednesday now and to truly get the feel of the flow diagram I'm going to write out some verses from some classic rap verses that I think will better help me understand the syllable count and the beat count for these songs. Get started, get stupid. You want my body, people will walk you through it step by step like infant new kid. Inch by inch with a new solution. Transmit hits with no delusion. The feeling's irresistible and that's how we're moving. Everybody, everybody, let's get into it. Another thing that I did this week pertaining to rap was I picked a quite infamous verse from today's rap culture, which is really, really fast. And I tried to get it down by the end of the week by practice, practicing it most of the days. So here's the result. After everything I've read in the book about proper breathing techniques and ways to space yourself out when rapping, um, this flow diagram for Rap God has like zero breaths. So. This is it's gonna suck. Lyrics coming at you with supersonic speed. Samalama Damalama, you so I'm even superhuman in a venom. Devastating more than majestic, how to give a mother flipping audience. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. Does Eminem even breathe? Lyrics coming at you with supersonic speed. Some of them are you still on me. Who know what I gotta do to get it through you? I'm super human, innovative, innovative, and relative. Anything you say is ricocheting off of me. They'll look at me. You want to devastate more than a majority. How to give them a motherfucker an audience feels like a levitating, never fitting. I know the haters are forever waiting for the day to take a step out through the celebrating. Cause I know the way to get it motivated. I make elevating music. You make elevated music. Oh, he's too mainstream. Well, that's what they do when they get jealous. They can use it. So I feel like that was pretty alright. Um, that was for like a whole week of practice just for those. I think like 10 lines so I mean I'm no Eminem but I think that was pretty all right and I guess that's what practice does too is I just have to practice flow and the stuff that you write you just practice and practice until you can really get down what you want to say so week three now and the topic this week was writing um, with writing there's not much I could show on video of my progress besides like flipping through my notebook and showing you what I've written down So that's exactly what I did every day this week I wrote down some lyrics that I had in my head or like a catchy tune or some rhyme that I thought of Today I also finished up writing my song with two complete 16 bar verses and my chorus and I have it all down in my head with where I want the voices to rise and drop and take breaths and just different spots. I got it all written out on my flowchart and I think it's coming on really nicely. I'm having my friend Bailey Kropenzik, who's in choir, come in and sing the chorus for us. So that'll happen probably next week whenever I can find time. <laughs> now it's the very last week of content and this week's focus is delivery. I feel like this is going to be the most fun of all of the things that we've covered so far just because it's a combination of all the skills that we learned before and it's really how you deliver your lyrics and what people think of your skills as a rapper. So I got Bailey to come over today to sing a chorus for me. Hello. And we recorded it and here's what we got. I think it's pretty good. Monday I woke up, didn't wanna go to school I put on my clothes thinking this is kinda cruel 7.30 is too early to function I'm suffering from a brain mouth function I went through my day and took a nap in every class I swear that time had stopped like a broken hourglass I go home to refill my zen But I gotta wake up tomorrow and do it all again Day after day, class after class School is getting to me, such a pain in my Glass is what is separating me from the outside Sleeping in biology, my head was upside Down, down, even lower than our GPAs Try not to fade away, acting like it's Y2K Senioritis, man, is hitting pretty hard But don't let your dreams get broken in the boulevard Please don't 
forget about me anytime soon because I I need you to know that we we've got too much history so all I'm asking is that you please don't let me go we're getting pretty old now getting tired of people telling us how to work, how to function, how to live, how to grit our teeth and make it through. All is what we must give. But now that it's our last year of high school, gotta navigate the real world. Scary like high rule, but our schools could not have prepared us for this. Mom and dad are kicking us out. What a plot twist. Born in 99, we got that Gen Z shine. Acting like the Walking Dead or acting like we Frankenstein. Reality is gonna hit us like a brick wall. Don't go chasing empty dreams and don't go chasing waterfalls. But please, enjoy Enjoy this time while you can You might never ever see your friends again I recommend cherishing your time with them Our future is just around the bend Please don't forget about me anytime soon Because I, I need you to know That we, we've got too much history So all I'm asking is that you please don't let me go please don't. After I finished recording our song, I uploaded it onto SoundCloud. So I'm going to give it about a week or so and see how many likes, views, and followers I gain. So throughout the week, I practiced my delivery on a bunch of different verses from some artists, because on page 305 it says, A good way to develop your live performance style is to study other artists who you think are great at performing, either fellow MCs or performers in other musical genres. So to develop my live performance style, I had to practice in a bunch of different places with some different people. So this is it. This is basically the end of my project. It's the last day of my fourth week of content. And when I checked my SoundCloud today, I had gained five followers, I got five likes, and like 15 listens. So I would call that a success. So time for reflection. Question one was, did you achieve your desired outcome? I think I did. I mean, I did pretty well on my song that I put on SoundCloud. And over the skills that I've learned, I think I reached I reached it pretty well. I mean, obviously, I'm not... I didn't become a famous rapper overnight over the course of four weeks, but I think I did pretty well. Question two was, discuss your own interpretation of what happened in your research and why. Um, through my research, I found that it was really hard to find time to like sit down and write a song or fix lyrics or edit or even like record or find time to get Bailey to come over to help me sing the chorus. But through my research, I learned that it really just does take time and it's really an art and you really have to dedicate yourself to it. And that's just as a high schooler, something I don't have is time. <laughs> so I did pretty well for what I was given. Question three was, what successes or difficulties did you have in carrying out the applied research? Some successes I had were, I wrote a decent song, when I posted it, it got some decent views, decent publicity. Um, that was pretty good. I feel really good about all the edits and verses that I made in my notebook and all the stuff that I've done. So those were successes. Difficulties, like I said, time was just a big thing. I don't have time to dedicate myself to it, so I'm not going to be going into the field of rap, sadly. <laughs> Question four is, address what you have learned about yourself from this study. Some things that I've learned about myself over the study was that I really do like rap music a lot more now. Um, it's definitely broadened my horizons because I listen to a lot more kinds and it's not as bad as I thought it used to be, but it's, I really like it now. And over like developing my voice and tone, it has really helped me have a lot more respect for the genre. So that is it. That is how to rap. I'm really proud of myself for the things that I've done over these four weeks, the things that I've learned and things that I've tried, and I'll definitely continue listening to rap and maybe write some songs, but don't expect me to be a famous rapper anytime soon. That's it. Carson Chilling. How to rap. Oh, wait, no. Paid a lot of money for that. Everything is a-okay. Yep. Because I'm strong as an OAK. And oh, my money don't grow on trees.